you went through several cycles of that. Because, see, America, when I first started coaching him, he was a sophomore on the team. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so his big brother was still on the team. And we had previous interviewee, Moses Greenwood was on the team, Kendari Smith. We had a stacked team. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? And so his role, you know, he'll catch a lot. He played he probably best defender for the team. And then, you know what I'm saying, he'll, we had set plays for him and stuff like that. But then you went from that to your junior, senior year having to be Mr. Everything. You had to be the leading scorer. You had to be the assist man. You had to be a rebounder. You had to be defender. You had to be everything for those two years. And then you went on the circuit. Like I said, dominating and stuff like that, and then boom, you get to Mississippi State, you back on the team with your brother, and he <laughs> he the one leading the play calls again. And so again. yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's that's crazy. How so? How was that experience from from the brother standpoint of it? Where you were in his shadow in high school, you're out his shadow, superstar. You're back in his shadow in, in college again. How was that? It was it was kind of it was um I know it was helpful. It was very helpful in college. It was more helpful in college, but it was helpful in high school because he's still my big brother. He could deliver stuff, but I was a young guy, so I probably take it a certain way. But as I got older, you know, I, I was starting to understand, especially in college. He come tell me something. I can understand it like that. Like, I got you. Okay, cool. I got you. So I think it was – and then it's coming from your big brother, so you know it's everything's right that your big brother is telling you. So I think they helped out a lot. For real though. So it was so it was it was more beneficial then, huh? Yeah, it was way more more okay. beneficial. Okay. 